Alright guys, this is a tutorial on how to install the new Null 11 ROM with these features. So first what you want to do is get the custom recovery. So you go to the link that will be in the description. Uh, you'll, you'll go throughout the flashing process with Odin and install the custom recovery just like you would a ROM. And you would get it from here and make sure before you flash this guys that you have the MK7 um, build in your about phone options um, that's important or else you'll run into issues so yeah once you have that install this custom recovery and then and I believe that MK7 is the version that is on the null 10.1 ROM so if you have the 10.1 you should be good to flash this so now what you'll want to do is download the ADB for gear zip file I have in the description and the null 11 zip which is on the forum the null ROM forum and once you have those guys you'll want to right click hit extract on the ADB, ADB for gear you'll get this folder over here and if you open it up you'll see that it has the ADB EXE which will launch here in the command prompt so now what you want to do is open command prompt so type your Windows key and R simultaneously it'll open up this run box type CMD hit OK and then you have a command prompt up here then once you have this command prompt open, you will want to type cd space desktop and you can hit tab and it will auto complete the word so you don't have to type the whole thing and then hit forward slash and then you want to go into this directory of this file so you'll type adb space four and then you could hit tab and oh wait nope didn't auto complete whoops just type the whole thing hit gear and there it'll go into this directory here in which if you open it open that folder you'll see that has the adb exe and then what you'll want to do now is hit adb devices and it will list well first it's got to start up the daemon. Okay, so now this is my gear watch that I have plugged in over here. So I have it plugged in with the USB cable and it's also in USB debugging mode which is in something you have to enable in the in the settings. So then once that's done you got your device listed here you will want what we're trying to do is push this null 11 zip to your your memory on your gear watch. We'll type ADB space push and then you will want you have to specify what you're trying to push so we're trying to push the null and oh yeah so the null zip also needs to be in the directory that you're in so you can just hit cut paste it into the ADB for gear folder because it's got a you don't want to have to change the directories so after you have it in there you can put null underscore hit tab to autocomplete so there it grabs the zip and then you want to put the directory where you want to put it on your gear watch the easiest spot is the put SD card I could type SD card forward slash and then just put it in your download folder so you'll just hit download you hit enter and you got this blinking cursor this is going to take a minute or two because it's pushing a fairly large file to your gear watch so just leave everything plugged in and just wait okay so this just came up um, told me the transfer speed how long it took to complete it so yeah, so now once you see that, that means the file is now on your gear watch. So what you want to do now is you want to boot your gear watch into uh, recovery mode. 
recovery that you flashed before you started all this. So you'll hold down your power button for like 10 seconds. And then you'll see this rebooting screen. Start tapping the power button about five times, six times. And then you'll get to this. It'll say continue download recovery. You'll tap the power button, go down to recovery, and then hold the power button down for three seconds let go and it'll boot into the recovery that team win recovery and in here you'll want to hit install and then you'll browse to your download folder which is here whoops download folder and there you see your null 11 zip, select that, then swipe to confirm flash. Slide that guy over. Yeah, it's a little difficult. And I'll install the null ROM with Aroma Installer. It's pretty sick. Okay, you're about to install null for the version 700, V700. Go ahead and hit next. Yeah, all looks good. Uh, email client, a lot of that stuff I already have so I'm going to leave it at the default and I'll hit next gallery touch wiz, sure, I'm just going to leave everything at default for this demo, you can select stuff that you want to add and next, hit install and we are installing null 11, this is the way to do it, you do not use odin to install the new ROM Alright, then you'll get this completed uh, dialog, and then you'll hit next, and you'll want to reboot the device, and then you should be about all set once this reboots. Alright, now you'll see it's upgrading after you installed the new ROM. It's got to optimize all your apps. Alright. And I'm going to go into my About section and see what the new build number is. Okay, or it could just do that. Okay, go into the Settings, About, and let's see what it says the new build number is. Ah, yeah, no 11. All right, sweet, you're set. You got the new ROM, and I assume this is the way it'll be. This is how to be the way you, you install the new null ROMs from now on. So get the custom recovery in the description below and you'll be set. Alright, see you guys.